a long awaited one, an Oka EMAG video. I know that you guys have been asking for more information for the longest time. So I wanna give you everything that you wanna know about the Oka EMAG in a short and concise, stripped down version on just the technical details. So what we're developing here is a full Umbrella Armory X-Force EMAG HPA gun with a grip connect that is made from steel and an HPA engine that not a lot of you know about yet. And that is the Sparklets Wolf. We're partnering with them to make the first ever full production Sparklabs Wolf X Umbrella Armory HPA gun that is featuring their state-of-the-art engine that is using electromagnetic welves to actuate the nozzle and give you a very, very precise and fine-tunable experience. And obviously, we're taking everything that we already have on our Oka lineup and we're bringing that into a, for the first time, series production. So in the past, we've always made every gun one at a time. And that was the only way that we could start making bespoke airsoft guns. Because as you can imagine, it's incredibly difficult to take something like this into anything like a series production. And over the last two and a half years or so, we've gone through this and we've started developing every single little piece on it, step by step. And the first step for us was to develop a handguard that we're, we're really, really happy with, that is ultra light, and that kind of started to coin the X-Force design language. And that was done with this X-Neural here in the front. So we're taking that and we're bringing that as well to the Oka X-Force EMAG. And the next steps were that we wanted to have outer barrels that were ultra light and also obviously look beautifully while giving us two points of stabilization. So with our X-Force EMAG series, we're also including those carbon fiber parts, which are the entire barrel system with a foam filled, and that's optional because not every country allows to do foam filling. So you'll be able to use the customizer to just, you know, take that off the list. Suppressor, so that's super cool. And obviously we're bringing you guys full customization with this rifle, but we are not necessarily going to limit you because there are so many options out there. However, we wanted to make sure that the base rifle itself is as cool as it can be. So right now I have a pre-production prototype in my hands right now, and we're still using a max model trigger and we're still using an off the shelf magazine release here. And we're still using a retro arms fire selector. But with your support, we will actually be able to design every single part on this gun ourselves. And at this point, you already know that we've got our own hop-up unit, we got our own barrel, we got the engine, and we've got a really cool design that I'm not gonna show you yet on how the engine is held in there because we're not using a standard AEG um, gearbox, but we've designed our own holder system that is going to take the engine and place it precisely at center at all times, making sure that you have the best um, shooting experience with this HPA rifle that you can have in a system like this. So overall, the system is incredibly light. It weighs just two kilograms. And that is on a full 11 inch carbine that you can see here. And obviously this can be lighter if you wanna go with the seven inch version that we're gonna release as well. Or it can be a little bit heavier if you wanna go with the DMR, but you're still gonna be at like 2.2 kilograms or something like this if you have the 15 inch DMR. A very, very, very nice feel in the hands because it is so light and you can just, you know, single-handedly wield this. And with the Grip Connect system here, making that super easy to actually operate with two hands. We haven't told you this yet, but, and I'm not gonna show you, we will release our own line, we will release our own tank, and we will have a regulator ready for you. Those things are still in the pipeline. They're probably gonna come out like late 2024, 2025. But if you wanted to have a full HPA rucksack plate carrier system with a hose attached to it, we'll have you covered, but just not yet. If you now wanna connect this, all you have to do is plug it in. And 
I think that is the most beautiful design that you can choose for a system like this because now you can really operate it with just two hands. And you know what, this should be standard on any HPA gun. I don't know why it's not, but it is standard on our EMAG because the goal that I had with the EMAG was I wanted to give you guys a rifle that comes in at a really attractive price and that features everything <laughs> that you would want in a fully upgraded gun. So this rifle comes with an R-Hop, this rifle comes with our CNC hop-up unit, this rifle comes with an engine holder that centers the whole thing perfectly every time. So really, it already comes with everything that you would want to upgrade, including a new trigger system that we're developing for this rifle. As I said, this is a pre-production prototype. We're still using a max trigger in here, but the final version is gonna ship with our own trigger. So that trigger is optimized for ultra nice hair trigger, or you can adjust that for a longer trigger pull as well. So you can have both worlds. So much to that, this comes with two cables in the back. One of them is the JST connector, and the other one is for a small little OLED display. This is the programming unit for this device. I know programming units are usually very daunting topics and on most systems, you are getting overwhelmed with settings that you cannot understand and don't know how to use. The guys over at Spark Labs, and that's the reason why I'm using their system, have developed an interface that is intuitive and it just works. We do need a battery as well. 7.4 volts, JST battery. Obviously, if you're from within Europe, you can order this from us. You can actually start shooting this now without air attached. And this is what makes this gun so special. It uses an electromagnetic valve to move the air nozzle every time that I'm pulling the trigger and that loads the next BB and centers it perfectly. You don't have that on another HPA system where every BB is loaded with air pressure, wasting air and yeah, just you don't have all the abilities that you have with this nozzle because you can, you can actually change the length of the nozzle and the position of it and all of the timing parameters all through the settings of this built-in display that I just mentioned. So we have this display right here and if we press the left button, that is the OK button or the whatever you want to call this, activate button. It lets you cycle through the settings. Obviously, when you receive the gun, it will already be set up. And the only thing that you guys probably care about is this one, which is the burst setting. You can go up, up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 round burst. And obviously we don't need that right now. What's even cooler though is hold this button and you see, select gun one. So we will ship these guns out with two distinct settings. One is gun one, which is for high power usage of open field. You can crank up your regulator from anything like 1.2 joules all the way up to 2.5 joules because you can operate this from 60 PSI all the way up to 200 PSI, I believe. If we now wanna go switch that, we can go to gun two and suddenly we have completely different settings. The whole gun internally is now set to a CQB mode where we have ultra high rate of fire, but to keep things safe, we have it set to only one joule. So all of the settings are optimized to give you less power. Obviously, you can always change the power settings on your regulator, but we are already optimizing all the settings internally so that you don't have to go in and remember, oh, what was my nozzle dwell? What was my BB dwell? What was X, Y, and Z to make that shoot perfectly? It's already optimized when we ship that out to you. So that is something that makes it much easier for someone like me that just wanna pick up the gun and start playing with it and not think about settings and stuff like that. So I believe that that kind of wraps it up for what I wanna tell you about this rifle at this early stage. And I wanna thank you very much for pre-ordering. There's a lot of you guys that have pre-ordered and I'm making this video because so many of you are asking for more information at this stage and I'm trying to be as transparent as I possibly can by telling you about everything that is done and that isn't done and what's on the roadmap. And as you can see, we have a fully functioning and running gun, but there are a couple externals like the selector, the trigger, 
the magazine release and the bolt catch that we want to make our own versions of just to make that, you know, give it that umbrella touch, the bougie factor. So that's what you can look forward to in the coming months. We'll give you guys updates on once we have these parts ready and we'll show them to you and share the designs on the journey ahead. So thank you very much for tuning in and for becoming a pre-order um, on our list for the new EMAC. Thank you so much.